It's normal to see moths occasionally outdoors, but a tobacco moth in your pantry could mean your food's infested. In this video, we'll show you how to identify and treat tobacco moth infestations so your food can stay clean and safe to eat. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about tobacco moths, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Tobacco moths, also known as cacao moths or warehouse moths, are common stored product pests with worldwide distribution. Adult tobacco moths have a wingspan of about 16 millimeters. The forewings are a light grayish brown with light colored bands, the hind wings are a fairly uniform tan color, and the antennae are slender and lack feathering. While the sight of adult moths typically signal that you may have an infestation, any real damage to your stored products is done by larvae. The larvae of these moths are typically 10 to 15 millimeters in length. Their bodies have some bristles and are cream white in color with brownish head capsules and brownish body markings. Tobacco moth larvae are voracious eaters and will feed until they are ready to pupate. Any food that remains uneaten is soiled by excrement and webbing, so there's no saving it, really. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. To confirm tobacco moth activity, look in and around your pantry or where packaged foods are stored. If you find pupae among the shelves or other parts of the house, that's a start, but focus on finding infested packages. Check inside packages for webbing, larvae, and moths. Tobacco moths primarily target tobacco products, chocolate, cereals, and seeds, but they won't hesitate to infest other foods too. Be sure to check any drawers and shelving for cracks and crevices larvae can hide in. Take note of which foods are infested and where you've seen larvae. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time for treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets away from treated areas until dry. The first step is to clean out your pantry. Start by throwing out boxed and bagged foodstuffs. That sounds extreme, but if you've found at least one infested package, odds are there are moths and larvae in your other packaged foods. These moths are able to invade packaging through even the smallest gap to lay their eggs. For every one adult moth you've seen, imagine up to 300 eggs waiting to hatch throughout your foodstuffs. Next, vacuum all cracks and crevices in your pantry shelving. Small pantry pests may be found in these tight spaces as they travel from place to place. Be sure to throw out the vacuum's contents outdoors when you're done. Wipe down the pantry shelves with water to clean up any food residue. Do not use any strong cleaners or bleach, as these will keep pests away from the pesticides you'll apply. Once you've cleared and cleaned your pantry, treat these pests with products like Pyrid and Novicide. Then use traps like Pro Pest Pantry Moth and Beetle Traps to catch and monitor for moths and larvae. Pyrid is an insecticide aerosol that's used as a flushing agent, and it's great to treat tight cracks and crevices where moths or other pantry pests may be hiding. This product is made with pyrethrins, a botanical insecticide, so it's safe to use in food storage areas, though you should still clear out your pantry and keep people and pets away from the area until the vapors have dispersed. To use Pyrid as a crack and crevice treatment, affix the red applicator and straw to the spout. Shake the can and apply along the lengths of any cracks and crevices in your pantry where any moths or their larvae could be hiding. When treating cracks and crevices, spray in quick bursts, usually about one second of spray per foot. Pyrid does not leave a residual, but it's an excellent contact spray with a powerful knockdown and quick kill. Next, apply Novicide. Novicide is another insecticide aerosol, but this one contains an insect growth regulator, or IGR. This will disrupt the moth's life cycle and prevent eggs, larvae, and pupae from developing into reproductive adults. Additionally, Novicide has a long-lasting residual and will control treated areas for up to seven months. Apply Novicide as a spot treatment along the edges of your shelves. Just shake the can, hold it upside down, and spray a barrier where shelving meets the wall. Affected moths will not be able to produce eggs, and larvae will not be able to develop into reproductive adults. Once your chemical applications have dried, set up ProPest Pantry Moth and Beetle Traps in your pantry to lure and catch flying moths. These traps contain pheromones that attract many stored product pests. Simply peel off the wax paper, then fold the trap into a tent. You can set the trap on a shelf or hang it to catch different crawling or flying insects. One trap will cover an area of up to 300 square feet. Any moths in the area will be drawn to the trap and will get stuck on the glue. 
Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. Employ these tips to prevent infestations in the future. Try not to overstock your pantry shelves. The longer food just sits on the shelf, the more susceptible it becomes to infestation. When buying dry foods at the grocery store, examine the packaging. If you can see the product through transparent packaging, try to look for any moths, larvae, or other pests. If you see any holes, rips, tears, or other openings, pass the item up. It's best to keep food in tight-fitting or sealed containers. Put cereals, grains, and flour in containers that can be sealed airtight. Pet food and bird seed are often overlooked and extremely conducive for pantry pests, so it's important to also store your pet food in sealed containers. By keeping food in airtight containers, you can stop infestations from spreading. If an infestation starts inside of a sealed container, that means the food was already infested with eggs before it went in, and you can throw it out without risking the rest of your pantry. Finally, keep up with regular pesticide applications to ensure protection throughout the year. With Novicide's 7-month residual, we recommend you apply twice a year for preventive control. Be sure to check traps regularly and replace them every three months. Tobacco moths can break out and infest entire pantries worth of food quickly, but there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop tobacco moths and other stored product pests from taking over your pantry, and we offer fast and free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.